now we are going to talk about the products and adding them to each page um, so uh, first I'm going to just show you adding the products onto the website in general so just so that it shows up but when you click on store you'll have the grid product gallery which is kind of like the normal it shows everything then you have the slider which kind of has the arrow and it literally slides to each different product then you have the related products and it's just a different they're just different formats that you can have your products show up on the website um, I think that the gallery um, option looks the best you know it shows all of the products it's all shows up on the page easy simple and um, it's, there's no fuss to it <laughs> so now we're going to go into managing the products so you click on the manage products button it's going to take you to your products and now these are all the products that are on the website and I'm just going to click on to one of the products here and here you're going to just I'm going to change the name of this product. I'm going to change it to let's see vanilla body lotion. I'll just have it say that for now. And in the the, the spot where you see it says ribbon, that's where you're going to put new arrival or best seller or featured you know item or something like that and when you were on the product page if you notice that there were little tiny ribbons next to the picture that said new arrival or bestseller that's where you um, type that in so it shows up and that's what it would look like each time um, now you have your collections and you um, this is where you separate your products so that they can show up on each page um, and you'll have a collection for each product type. You'll have one for, you know, your best sellers. And then I'm going to make one for essentials so that when they do click on that, that's the page. And you'll have certain products that you want to have featured there. Um, now you have your additional info sections. Now this is really important as far as um, letting your customer know more info about the product and more info about um, your back-end process so I have the store policy and I'm just going to show you what I put um, personally on my website just so that the customer can know more information about the store what our policies look like the fact that you know we want to make sure that you're having an easy shopping experience online and if there's any issues to definitely reach out to us so that we can help you as soon as possible to make it the best experience that we can. Then you have your return and refund policy. I'm going to add what I have on my website here as well. And for the return policy, I don't I don't do returns strictly because of sanitary reasons, but you do want to, you know, express to the customer that if anything is wrong or if there are any issues that they can contact you so that you can try to make the situation right. At the end of the day, customer service is number one. We want to make sure that the customer is happy. The customer is always right, right? That's what they say. So you want to make sure that um, you are upholding that on your end as well. Because people care about, you know, customer service and being treated right. So the next thing we have is knowledge of ingredients and allergens. I thought this was important to put because people uh, need to know that if they have any allergies to anything that we have in our products um, that they need to be wary of that also do a patch test if you've never used products like this before put it on a small part of your body so you can see how you react and know whether or not it's something that you should continue to use or not you want to make sure that you put those disclaimers out there put that information out there so that there's no guessing and there's no issues later down the road because we don't need that <laughs> okay and next we have pricing you just put your price there you can click on on sale if you like that um, as an option if you have certain products you want to put on sale you can do it by a percentage or you can do it by an a um, actual dollar amount 
Um, and then they also have the, a cost of goods sold section so that you can know how much you're making on each product. Um, if you know exactly how much, which you should know exactly how much it costs to make each product, um, you can put that in there so you know what your margins are. Um, that's really important to, to know. So definitely um, put that information in there. The customer can't see it. That's for your eyes only. So um, that's just good information. I am going to um, show you just another one and we're going to dive into the um, product description more so on this one, but uh, for I'm going to name this um, Unscented Body Butter and leave it as a bestseller. Again, that's going to show up as a bestseller on the uh, website so that they can see it's good to have those those on there because people can see okay someone really likes these products there are a lot of people that purchase these products i need to get this because everyone else seems to like it and it kind of gives that feel and i think that that's really important and um getting people to be more comfortable with you and seeing the authority that you do have um, next up here's the product description now i'm showing you a product description that i have on my website I go into grave detail about each ingredient and why they're, why it's important inside of this particular product. What does each ingredient do? Because I didn't pick these ingredients just for no reason. Each ingredient does something for your skin, does something that helps your eczema just a little bit more. And I want to show you what that is and explain it so that you understand why this is going to be helpful to you and why this will help your skin. Um, and then now I'm just going to go to the collection and change that to the uh, body section. I'm going to rename the collections here in a minute and show you that as well. But you just want to make sure that you're putting them in the proper collections so that it shows up on the page properly. Um, so now we're in the collections section and um, you can see each one named here and you can just highlight each one and change it so we have body lotion you want to make sure that you have one that says body butter and then you have one that says body oil and we're going to make one that also says lip gloss so you just click on new collection type in what the name you would like it to be um, and you can also name the collection uh, what you'd like um, because that's you're going to be the only one that sees that. Uh, the customer is not going to see that you have the pages named differently. Um, and after you make the new collection, the web the Wix is going to prompt you to create a page on the website, which we already have one, so it shouldn't need to prompt you to do that. But um, it's going to prompt you to create a page for the new collection. And I'm just going to go into the um, the menu manager and delete the extra one so you just click on the three double the three dots there and click delete and then move the lip gloss one that's at the bottom back up so it's um in the the alignment again and we're going to go back to manage products and i'm just going to also show you how to add another product into the line here but first I just want to uh, make sure that I have you know an adequate amount of products in each section so that you can see what it looks like when you add them onto your products it just really helps you divide each um, each product and each um, you know variation that you have available on your website it just makes it a lot easier to organize they do it all for you if you're like me and struggle with organization just a little bit this really helps you get everything down and um you know just separate everything and, and make it clear so um, definitely uh, make sure you have that um, if, if you are finding this video helpful and you are enjoying it please be sure to like comment and subscribe to the channel and share this video if you care and um, just to get it out to more people that need more information about this and uh, that this will help as well um, so now I'm you know still going through to each page and making sure that we have you know everything separated now I'm going to show you how to add a product they have option for a digital product a digital product or a physical product we're going to click on physical 
and we're going to type in glass slipper. I'm just going to add a lip gloss here. And you want to make sure in your description that again, um, so we're just going to do new arrival for this one. And in your description, you want to go into detail about the lip gloss. What's the quality of it? How is it going to make my lips feel? Is there a scent? Is there a tint? Is there, you know, anything that I uh, I need to know as far as ingredients? What ingredients did you put in there? Um, what do those ingredients, you know, do for uh, for my lips or, you know, whatever the case may be? Again, go into details so, so that they know, the customer knows, um, what they're getting out of the product and uh, why it's so high quality, why it's luxury, okay? We have to explain all of this to the customer and making them, you know, more comfortable with possibly buying the product. Um, now we're going to add a picture and I'm going to show you how you can edit a photo so that you can add it here on Wix. First, we're going to upload um, a couple pictures that I took um, when I was doing the photo shoot uh, that I have here on my laptop and I'm just going to um, upload them and show you how to edit that. So you click on crop and edit and you're going to, um, you have crop and resize which you can um, resize the photo. Say you have it any dead space or if there's just like um, make maybe a shadow or something that you want to um, crop out it just makes it easy so that you can make sure that the photo is being highlighted in the way that you want and then you click on enhance you can do auto enhance and it will you know liven up the picture sometimes on its own or you can just get rid of auto enhance and just play with the other enhance options and just really see what makes the product pop. Not alter the product, but make it look, you know, a little bit more presentable and more professional. And it's going to automatically save that picture that you edit. And um, now we're just going to go to another photo. We're going to show one with the, the texture of the lip gloss along with what the lip gloss tube looks like as well. And just edit that and save it onto the website as well. So now that's added onto the page, and now we have now we have two pictures added on there that you know have you know more of an edit to it to make it look a little bit more professional, and then we're gonna add it to their proper collections, have it as a bestseller, and also in the lip gloss section itself. Now let's get into the fun part of actually putting it on the website. Since we already made this the lip gloss page, that product should automatically auto-populate here. And now you can see the product that we added, lip, um, the glass slipper, is on the page. Now we're going to go to the body lotion. Now see, all of the products that are on the page are going to show up here. Um, I thought that I had put uh, lip gloss accidentally in the body lotion option or the collection page um, and I didn't it's just that when you add the um, products onto the webs onto the website it's gonna automatically put all products and the all products collection on there so all you have to do is um, click on the settings button and all of the collections that you have on the website are going to show up and you're going to click on whichever one that you want to be on the page. And here it's going to be body lotion. So you click on that collection and it'll automatically show up. Now we're going to go on to body butter and we're going to do the same thing. Um, you go down to the store option, click on the gallery and go to settings and make sure that the body butter collection is the one that is, is selected to be on that page and it just makes it so much easier so that every you know every feature that every product feature that you want is on the page properly um and we're going to go back it looks like the uh, the body butter didn't add so it's going to go back in and re-add it to make sure that it's it is showing up on the page so now we have to just go back to settings. So again, you just click on settings 
and all of the collections that you have will show up and you just choose the one um, the collection that you want to have featured on this page and it kind of hides sometimes so you just have to drag it down and make sure that it's within those dotted lines the dotted lines are really helpful because sometimes depending on the laptop um, there may be certain features that are outside of that box that may not show up so you just want to make sure that everything stays within those dotted lines so that no matter what device someone is on they'll be able to see everything that you have designed on your website you put a lot of work into this website so you want to make sure that people can see all of the work that you did to create your beautiful website um what is one feature that you've been having a hard time putting on your website what's something that you've been trying to implement but have been having a hard time um, figuring out when it comes to making your website I want to know um, some of the things that you may be struggling with so we can help each other so definitely put that down in this description in the comment section below I would love to hear um, what your process and journey is go is looking like right now so now um, you can see that the, everything that we've you know set up as far as the links we want to make sure that that's working so we're going to click on the preview button and it's going to show you just like a preview option of the page this isn't um, published or anything it's just just a preview so that you can click on everything and make sure that it's working so if we click on that shop body butter we're on the body butter page that is what that feature um, really helps you to uh, showcase on your website.